I have a map here of the Rocky Mountain National Park and I need a good vector file for cutting. I looked online, couldn't find a file. I tried taking a picture, that didn't work. So I'm gonna use the logic trace system to trace the pattern, just place the map on the tracing board, take the pen stylus and trace the outline. I could have also, if I wanted to, used the cursor. It's got a little magnifying glass here and push down with the button. So I can just trace that too. They both work really well. Um, the cursor over the pen and the board comes with both of them, so you can use whichever one that you want. I'm going to switch back to the pen. It's a little bit faster on the video. So I'm going to trace the outline with the pen stylus. Now I can go as slow as I want. I can go as fast as I want. It doesn't matter, just as accurate. I can also switch and do points too. So just trace the outline. So how does it work? The pen stylus generates this magnetic field and that is magnetic field is picked up by the electrical grid in the board. The board's got all these wires in it and the board sends a hundred points per second. I mean a hundred points per second and the, our, my software then turns all of those points and turns it into a very good accurate vector file. It also weeds out data so we get just the points that are needed and make sure that it's not too large for our vector cutting machine. Just go all the way around. Now, we can load these DXF files into any CNC cutting machine, also any CNC software, and any CAD software. For example, AutoCAD, Adobe Illustrator, just about anything. Just go all the way around, and then I'm going to save this DXF file, and I can then cut it out. We can use the logic tree system to pretty much trace anything. It could be parts, it can be drawings like this one, and then save the file. I'm almost done here. Go around it quickly. Do it slowly if I wanted to. I'm all, here's my last point. There it is. Ah, looks great. Let's save the 